Welcome back. We're having a wonderful time with Autism Works Now. We're here with Susan Osborne, Joanne Laura, and we're e Eli Uppen. We're thrilled to have you here, Eli. You too. Uh, yeah. He is a candidate of Autism Works Now. And so, Eli, how old are you? 17. And I understand you just moved to the Los Angeles area from yes. one of my favorite places on earth. Where'd you move from? New York City. Yeah, New York. I'm from upstate New York, but lived in New York for a while. I love that area. So 17 years old, I thought you were older. <laughs> you carry yourself a little bit older. Yeah. Um, and what are you interested in, Eli? Um, a video game internship. Oh. What video games do you like to play? I like to play shooting games, fighting games. Okay. Like what? Tell me a name of a game. That Call you of Duty Ghost. Call of Duty Ghost. Okay. Do you ever play Mortal Kombat? No. Never played that? I play on my phone. That's what okay. Because my husband does voiceovers for video games, and he's in Mortal Kombat in some of those games. That's why I asked. Mm -hmm. uh, my son likes to play video games, too. So I, otherwise, I wouldn't okay. be familiar with some of them. I know. But <laughs> Yeah. I'm not. But, uh, yeah, they're a little bit. Now, have you played VR games yet? No. Okay, well, this is something we got to hook you up with because there's some really cool stuff on VR. Um, but so you would like to do an internship yeah. with a video game. Now, would you eventually like to design the video games? Yeah, I would. Okay, so are you, are you in school right now? Yeah. What are you studying? Uh, I'm in high school. Yeah? So you have pretty much the regular kind of stuff that you have to take in high school. Do you have electives? No, I mean... No electives? No. Uh, are, and have you ever worked a job or had an internship? I had an internship at a bird sanctuary. At before. a bird? I mean, old school. At a bird sanctuary. That had to have been interesting, right? Those different animals, yeah. Yeah, and so were, what were you doing? I was cleaning the cages. I was cleaning the poop. I was doing whatever I can to help them. Did you like that? Yeah. What did you like about it? That I got to see different kinds of birds. And most of us only get to see those kinds of birds in a cage. Did you get to handle the birds and have them sit yeah, on your finger? Yeah, I got to um, hold them. Yeah. Now, see, I think that's fascinating. I would want to do that. And how long did you work at the bird sanctuary? A month. And so I've, I've been asking everybody this question. If you had a choice, honest answer, and you're, you have a choice to work or not work, which one do you choose? I would work. Yeah? You would choose work? Why? Because I don't want to um, get um, get paid and enjoy, enjoy it and want to make sure I have enough money so I can save it. And what would you save money for? Uh, a movie. Yeah. Video games. Yeah. And, and for you, Eli, after you're done with high school, because yeah. you're, you're, what, a senior now? Yeah. When you're done with high school, what's your plan? It was going to be a movie theater. Yeah. I was going to go to Vocat, then work in a movie theater. Yeah. You'd like to work in a movie theater. Yeah. And is, have you thought about doing more schooling Not after? Not yet. I haven't figured it out. You yet. haven't figured it out yet. But so m working in a movie theater would be good because you like movies? Yeah. And I was not that fancy. So. Yeah. So, but you haven't yet applied for any no, of these jobs. No, no. But you're learning how to do that. Yeah. What do you think is important about applying for a movie theater job? It's important because... Like, what do you have to know to be able to apply for a movie theater? What count cashier? You have, so there are probably many jobs, right? Yeah. Uh, so you know how to work the cashier. What Deal else? with employees, um, getting met, dealing with like other customers. Yeah, dealing with customers. And are you learning how to do that with Autism Works Now? Yeah, with other people. Yeah. Uh, is that a difficult thing, working with other people? No, it's not the first time we've done it. So okay. It's obviously not a difficult thing. But you, I want people to know that at 17, you have all the hopes and dreams. You have things that you want. Yeah. And do you ever want to live on your own? Yeah, if I have to. Well, would you rather live at home for a while? No. I mean, yeah, I mean, I would like to move, but... And someday, do you drive yet? No, I can't drive because of my disability. Okay. So, but you need money to get around and, and ride public tra yeah. transportation. And mm -hmm. you've got all those things that you want to do. And I just want people to know that you're, you know, you're a typical 17-year-old in that regard, right? Yeah. Got things you want to do, places you want to go. Things you want to do with your friends? Yeah. 
like movies. Mm -hmm. What else are you saving for? I heard you say the magic word you're saving. What else would you save for? Uh, um, uh, Maybe a video game? Yeah. Um, He's also on a basketball team. Yeah. Oh, you've been holding out on me. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about your basketball team. We're two and zero. We don't have a game for a while. Enough for two weeks at least. And are you uh, better at being a guard, or do you? I mean, it doesn't matter. You're good at everything. Yeah. Wonderful. And how often do you play basketball? Uh, every for, for Wednesday. Yeah. My game is on Wednesdays if I is. Can I jump in a second? You absolutely can jump in whenever you want. Eli, can you tell um, the viewers a little bit about the program that you what you like about Autism Works Now and the program on Thursday? Yeah. Um, it helps people who have disabilities, like some kids have autism, some kids like me have ADHD. Right. And what are you working on specifically? To um look at the person directly and smile and vibes. When they're talking, when you're talking, right? Yeah. And things are getting you're getting better with that, right? Yeah. Yeah. But it's hard. It's hard. Mm -hmm. It's not an easy thing we to know. do. We know it's tough. Yeah. Uh, but how is that going to help you get a job? Because that I can uh, look at people and smile, people and take photos as long as I have to. Yeah, yeah, and a lot of people don't realize that is an important skill, especially in the interview process. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, being able to look at people right. and smile at them mm -hmm. uh, isn't necessarily something you got to do all the time afterwards, but in the interview process, you guys are going to be doing mock interviews in a little while today, right? Yeah. Are you all set for that? I think so, yeah. You brought your resume, right? <laughs> Susan has your yes. resume. Yeah, we have okay. the resume. And mm -hmm. is that something that you did in class with Autism Works Now, has made yeah. your resume? Mm -hmm. and, and was that something that was hard? Had you ever done that before? Yeah, no, I'd never done it before, so it was my first time. But you know, now you've got the resume, and that's, that's like yeah. half the battle in terms of getting a job. Yeah. And he also, Eli, did you perfect or practice your elevator pitch? I will. Yes. Oh. That's another thing that we do in class. We learn how to convey who they are, what they can do, and what they're looking for in a 30 to 60 minutes. Okay, right? can I hear the elevator pitch? Sure. 60 okay. seconds. 60 seconds. 60 yeah. seconds. Sorry. Ready? Go. My name... Hi, my name is Eli Eppen. Um, I live in California. I'm currently at the Bridgeport School. I um, have a passion playing video games. My current favorite video game is Call of Duty Ghosts. I'm on the basketball team and I'm a hard worker. I love that. Isn't that great? That Thank is an you. awesome Wonderful. elevator pitch. Thank you so That's much. That's a great, a great, a great show. Thank you very much. Thank yes. you Thank so you much. Eli.